Hi, this is Karen McKee, the scientist videographer. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to shoot, edit, and share your science video entirely with an iPhone. So let's get started. First off, what do you need in the way of equipment and software? You need an iPhone or other smartphone with a camera that shoots video and that will also support the software you will need. Next, you need iMovie or a similar movie editing program, which you can find in the App Store and download to your phone. Finally, you need an internet connection so that you can publish your video to a video sharing site such as YouTube. The next step is to develop a script or storyboard for your video to guide your filming and editing. This can be a simple text file or you can use PowerPoint to create your storyboard. You can change the script or storyboard as you progress, but it will provide a basic outline to follow as you get started with your video project. Next, shoot some footage. You want to film yourself explaining your research or do interviews with colleagues. Film activities in various settings and from different perspectives and to illustrate aspects of your work. Also, film procedures and equipment. You want to shoot still images of plants, animals, the landscape, and other scenes. These can be used in montage sequences in your video. Once you've shot your footage, you're ready to edit. I'll be using iMovie for this tutorial. When you open iMovie, you will be presented with a screen like this. To create a new project, just tap the plus sign. The project will then open and you will have a screen composed of a viewer window at the top and the project timeline at the bottom. The various tools are in the smaller boxes alongside the viewer window. Let's add some video clips. Tap on the icon showing a film roll and this opens up your video, photo, and music files. Select a video at the bottom and then find the clip you would like to add. Tap on that clip and it will be outlined in orange, and a blue arrow will then appear. Tap on the blue arrow and it will drop into your timeline. Let's add a few more clips. If you want to move a clip, just press on it with your finger and drag it to where you want it in the timeline and then release. Let's add a few more clips. Note that wherever the playhead is, this is the pink vertical line. This is where your media will be added. You can expand the view of your clips using the pinch zoom gesture on your phone screen. This doesn't change the clip duration, just the number of frames visible to you in the timeline window. Let's look at how to trim a clip. Perhaps you wish to show only a segment of a clip or need to trim off just the end. First tap on the clip in the timeline, which places an orange outline around it. Then grab and drag the handles inward to trim. You can see that as I move the handle, the end of the clip moves and cuts off that portion. Now we have a shorter segment of that original clip. You can remove a clip by pressing on it with your finger and dragging it out of the timeline. Release it and it's gone. Let's take a look at some other media in the camera roll. Here is a simple animation I did in PowerPoint and exported it as a movie file, which I transferred to my iPhone camera roll. It adds and plays just like a film clip and helps explain something about the topic of this video. Now let's add some still photos, which I've shot and are stored in my photo library. Let's pick a couple to add. Just tap on it and it automatically drops into your timeline. Let's add another photo. Um, let's see, uh, this one looks like a good one. 
you can add motion to your photo with a Ken Burns effect by tapping once on the photo, which selects it. Notice at the top it says drag to position and pinch to zoom. By placing the playhead at the start of the clip, we can move the photo around to position the starting point. Then move to the end of the clip, we can reposition and zoom if we like. And now you can see how the Ken Burns effect adds motion to still images, and this is very complementary with your video clips. Okay, let's add an opening sequence with a title for the video. Double tap on the clip which opens a dialog box. We can now change the volume of the audio or silence it altogether by tapping the box to the right. To add a title, select Opening Title, and you'll notice a text box appears, and by touching it, it opens up on your keyboard. Now you can type in your title, and I'm going to title this video Coeur de Vaux, which in French means Heart of Vaux. Now when we tap on the play button, we can see how that title will appear when the video plays. We can also add text to a middle clip by selecting the uh, middle option and by typing in some uh, more text and then we can see what this looks like when it plays. These little icons between your clips create transitions. Double tap and we can change the duration of the transition or select another type of transition. By selecting None, this turns it into what is known as a cut transition, which is just a jump from one clip to the next. The icon still stays in the timeline so that you can change it back to a dissolve transition later if you change your mind. And now you can see what a cross-dissolve transition looks like. You may wish to record a voiceover for your video. To do this, just tap on the microphone icon and then tap Record. You can also shoot video while in iMovie. Just tap on the camera icon, which opens up your lens. Then record as you normally would with your phone. The clip will drop right into the timeline, wherever you had the playhead situated when you started recording. Next, you might want to add some music to your video. Tap on the audio icon, then theme music. You can preview each one by tapping on the play button adjacent to the selection. Then when you find one you like, tap it and it drops into your project timeline. Then tapping the play button, you can preview the music. By tapping on the Project Settings button, you can change the entire theme of the video. There are a number of options that you can try out. We've been working with the Modern option, but let's see what another one looks like. So by selecting another theme option, you can see what this does to the opening text and then also how it changes the middle text. And if you don't like that, there are other themes that are simpler and less dramatic. Okay, once you've got everything the way you want it, you can preview the video by going back to the marquee screen. Tap the Play button, and you can preview with or without optimization, and we'll just say No for now. If you are happy with it, then you can type in the title for your video by tapping on the marquee, which opens up your keyboard. And so I'll just type in Cur de Vaux. Next, you want to tap the Share button, which opens up a list of options. Selecting Camera Roll at the top will save it to your Camera Roll, from which you can download to your computer. Note that it's probably best to select an HD version, because this is going to be compatible with YouTube and other video sharing sites. Or you can upload directly to YouTube or another video sharing site. Although you need an account, this is easy to set up. 
You can also send your video to iTunes. So this is just a brief overview of iMovie to get you started. Detailed instructions are available by tapping on the Help, help button. Uh, this will lead you to more detailed information and instructions of how to use iMovie. And now let's take a look at the finished product. Bienvenue, welcome to the Carnival. Before the development of the Ada Vicenia, it was a salt flat, and before the salt flat, it was a big uh, mangrove forest with varieties of forest trees, maybe 100 years ago. 20 years ago, it was a salt flat without any, any trees because of the isolinity of the environment. Do we know how long this feature, you know, in the shape of a heart, has actually been here? This shape, uh, the oldest. Picture. The oldest picture, uh, picture we have, it, it's uh, in 1942. 1942. Uh, the US Army did some picture. Yeah, yeah, it was discovered. The US Army did some yeah. picture in uh, 1942. So we we know that since this date, the shape was here. Yeah, 17 years. We yeah. can find more sand. More sand, sand there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and quite a bit of organic. Rhizophora and the Avicenia and a lot, lots yes. of organic matter of, from Rhizophora decomposing. Yeah. But here it's very... Yeah, that's what I feel here. So I don't even feel silt or clay. Yeah, really. here it's very... And that's all there is to it. I hope this tutorial inspires you to create your own science videos. This is Karen McKee, the scientist videographer. Thanks for watching.